It's time to take you through the social media space, and Messi Manuel is here to do that with us. Messi, good morning. Good morning, something. Good, good morning. morning. Perpetua, and thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's <laughs> you Friday. can say that again. <laughs> so, oh. what's buzzing? A lot. A lot. Again, we're okay. dealing with an heartbreaking story. Mm. A DSS operative was reportedly rescued after jumping into the lagoon following an argument with her fiance in Lagos. Department of State Security operative Ade Tutu Ade Doku jump into the lagoon on, on Todd Mainland Bridge, Lagos State on Thursday. It was gathered that she had, an, she had disembarked from a car headed towards the rail of the bridge and plugged into the water. The permanent secretary, Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Dr. Olufemi Oke Oshoyi Tolu, who confirmed the incident in, an, in a situation report, said the cab driver claimed the woman was having a heated conversation with her fiancé before alighting from the vehicle. It was reported that she was, all, she was rescued by relevant, relevant authority. And this action is coming weeks after she was proposed to by her boyfriend. So can we call this uh, a breakfast issue? So um, I don't know what happened between her and her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. We don't know what the conversation was all about, actually. But again, is it worth jumping into the lagoon? We've seen instances of people passing through depression, yeah. heartbreak, and everything. You see them, they want to commit suicide. I know we, are, we handle situations differently, but I don't know. Is it whatever the guy told her on phone? Is it worth jumping into the lagoon? Let me start with Petra. Okay, if you ask me, I'll say nothing is really worth you know wanting to take your own life. I don't know the extent of the conversation. I don't even know whatever it is. I mean, I, I, I think it can't be more than we're no longer going I'm through with this or again. I've impregnated someone or whatever it is. Really, I, I feel for me as a person. It's not enough for me to think of taking my life. But of course, uh, you won't, if you hurt someone, you won't dictate to the person how the person should react. But it's my hope that a lot of persons will come to realize that ending your life because of one person's mistake or because of one person's error or because of what one person has said isn't good enough. It's unfair on you. It's unfair on the people who love you, the people who have trusted you, the people who are looking up to you. It's really not good enough. It's not something that you should do. But I'm glad that she was rescued. I mean, that, that, that alone gives me a lot of joy. That alone makes me happy. And I think that's just uh, something that consoles me this morning. So, Samson, talking about breakfast. Yeah. So, when you are served, you're, when you are served breakfast, what did I want to say? <laughs> but I think when you accept breakfast, we, we've seen this, okay, she's engaged. Yep. So we've seen instances when um, one of the partners can say, okay, we are engaged, but mm -hmm. anything can stay up. Happen, yes. And um, I think for me, if you ask me, I would say people take these steps or mourn their situation or not that situation, not even because of the partner sometimes, but because of what the society will say. Everybody on our street already know I'm engaged to mm -hmm. something. Oh, and all the proposal was yeah, yeah, it was dead. public. The, the video yes. was online. The, it was like it was a public thing. Mm -hmm. The video was everywhere, and all of a sudden, you say you're not doing it again. So, do you think um, what the society the, that stigma? Do you think is enough? Is it even a stigma to start well, with? Well, um, we, we should understand that the, um, it's it's always a personal decision when people die by suicide. Um, you, you don't even say they commit suicide again in that sense. Um, for starters, before the person decided to get to that final decision, um, the person will probably have ruminated over different decisions, different issues, circumstances, and they just feel that the pain is too much and they need to let go. Um, again, before it gets to that point, there's always the you know advocacy. You speak to someone, seek help, and all of that. But you'll be amazed that sometimes the victims themselves do not even know that it has gotten to that extent. They do not know how bad it is. They are just trying to weather the storm, and they just get to that point. They feel like, you know what? It's, it's, it's tiring. I'm done. I'm drained entirely. So um, it's quite a sad one. Um, I, I don't know what transpired, but for whatever it is that transpired, I don't want to believe it just had to do with you know the argument over the phone. It, it's probably an accumulation of it, different things, and that was just the last straw that broke the camel's okay, back in up. that sense. Then you, you, you look at the place of the cab driver, um, someone says park at the, you know, um, park at, at the bridge and she steps out, you know. Um, sometimes we, we should also watch out for our loved ones. I don't know if the driver in question now is, you know, from one of these um, commercial hailing services or a personal driver or official driver from work or whatever it is. But um, sometimes when, you know, you're driving to an says park 
You should just be you suspicious should, that you know, what is going uh, on. Madam, uh, no, are you okay? Is that right? Okay? No, you, you, you don't even try to park. park. Yeah, you know, in I that don't sense, she can, she can want she can you know, anything. You know, that's why I said. She wants to perform a ritual. You can't tell. She might <laughs> want to do anything. Yeah, that, that, yeah that, that's why I said. Okay. You, you need to be mindful too. You know, we need to watch out for one another. Um, the world definitely, as they say, you know, balance. You know, it's unfair. It's demanding. It's training sometimes. And um, we're not, all fingers are not equal. So the, the, the fair share of life struggles sometimes still heavily on one side where some people look like all their life um, their lives they bring cost while others relatively have it fair in terms of the struggles of life I, I just um hope that you know everyone involved gets some sort of um closure to this in terms of healing and moving past that okay let's Absolutely. take a um, few reaction at chronodox 02 says i know saying that breakfast go cause this kind of thing so what if it's not breakfast and what if it is? I mean, anything uh, can push anything, people but to what, make decisions. I'm actually now. So what if it's not breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> so at Shichu Adi underscore Adi Ekbite says, Port Milan Bridge should be fenced with iron wires from beginning to the end to protect people from jumping anyhow. Now, the only way we, we, we see the talk. Okay. This person no, no, is... No, no, we see <laughs> <it>. <laughs> talk. So this person is just saying they should be fenced because it's this not is possible. not the first time. It's not the first time, but this it's not, not possible. But, okay, it's not... Something is saying it's not possible. It isn't. And because it's, it's, it's actually... Uh, uh, what if we have something like with an Ija, that uh, kind of covering? Uh, uh, you know, the thing again is, are you, are you saying that... I, beyond Cloud <laughs> Milan Bridge, are you saying all the bridges in Lagos, over a thousand of them and have to be erected It's even beyond covered. bridge. People, exactly. people use other means. Ojo Elegba Why Bridge... Why was Sniper banned in the first place? In the first place. Ojo Elegba Bridge, about a week ago... Uh, a, a guy wanted to jump as well and then you had you know the street urchins throwing stones at him to get back and before someone you know pulled him over it was that third mainland bridge you know you have all of these things we've had instances of people just you know slitting their wrists yes. and doing all of that there are various ways to you know end one's life all right, at the end of the day we, we, we just need to, to advocate for more mental health okay so Absolutely. And that's mm -hmm. all on and social media boss today yeah all thank right, you thank very much you. well before we go just take the quote of yep. the day and this quote is from Walt Whitman. It says, keep your face always towards the sunshine and shadows will fall behind you. I yeah. think this is a good one, really. Yeah. It's a good one. Um, the, the, the sunshine in this context would be that people should just keep hope alive and, you know, be positive. And um, what's a given is that regardless of how long or lengthy the night is, there would always be morning, you know, times and seasons. So whatever challenges, just try, keep up. Hopefully you have a good support cast around you and there will be a morning. Absolutely. Yeah, of course, be mm -hmm. positive and know there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. All right. I think that's a good mm -hmm. one. Many thanks for watching. My name is Perpetual Fasomi Peter. Bye for now. And I'm Mercy Money. Have a fantastic weekend. Don't have a great day. I'm Samson Olede.